kids are taking lessons, they're going to be getting in the water fully clothed. Ha! Lori Wallace is there to explain why this morning. And I'm wondering, Lori, are you getting in the water with your hey clothes? Hey there, guys. Yeah, Good morning. Absolutely. Yes, the Otter Swim lessons are going on right now. This is that time of year when parents start thinking about getting their kids in the pool, starting swim lessons. But this is really different and really important. So I have Dana here to talk a little bit about these classes that are going to be offered next week and why you guys are doing them. So kids are going to show up just like the little ones we're seeing in the pool, fully clothed. Yes. Yes, so we do clothing week here at our swim school at least once a year. We feel like it's really important that kids get to practice their swim skills, practice their safety skills with their clothes on. One thing that people might not know is that uh, the majority of drowning victims actually are found fully clothed, shoes, everything. They weren't planning on swimming. Um, they were maybe just in the backyard or maybe left the house unexpectedly and ended up in the pool or in the water. So we want these kids to know what to do and how to act in the water with their clothes on so they don't panic and they don't freak out. They're able to practice their safety skills and get back Great to the idea. wall or roll over onto a back float. And this is something that Dana and I were talking about in the commercial break. My kids, when they were really little, learned to swim, and I thought they were fairly decent swimmers, but they really were only great swimmers with goggles on. Yeah. And I started to worry about that, too, because kids get so comfortable just in their swimming gear with their goggles on, and that's really the only way they know how to swim. Exactly. So we have all ages and abilities practice this because of that panic factor. A lot of kids really start to depend on goggles. They start to depend on just their ability to swim with their swimsuit. It's very heavy and harder to swim with clothes on. People will panic if they get water in their eyes or up their nose. So we want them to be able to be prepared to swim in any type of circumstance. So when can people sign up for the class? I know they're offered next week and all different ages are welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we teach year-round swim lessons. Um, registration is open um, by calling our front office. But really, we start lessons at four months and teach all the way to adults. Um, obviously, these safety skills are really designed for those young ones. Um, drowning is a huge risk. It's the number one cause of accidental death for kids that are four and under. So we really want those babies and those toddlers and lessons. Um, but we really do teach all ages. All right, so coming up next hour, guys, Dana and I are going to stick around the pool. We're going to actually watch some of the kids get in the pool, go through those specific lessons, some of the tools that are being given, so you can see at home just how important it is to have these little tools in your back pocket just in case of an emergency. I'll send it back to you guys. Wow, that's great. a great idea. Lesson for them. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, Lori. From a sanctuary to a place of business. New at 9, we're visiting Cooper Farms in Loomis to find out how